let's apply this to one of the, uh, another question. So let's have a go at this question over here. So when you're doing these questions, the same four steps that we were using last lesson still apply. So the same four steps I had in the box at the start of this lesson still apply. So you first want to label the sides and identify the trig ratio. Then you still want to write a trig, oh, what's it called? Uh, yes, write an, uh, an equation using the trig ratio and the angle and the sides. Then you want to rearrange and solve, rearrange it and then solve. So we're still going to do those exact same steps. So let's have a go at doing that for this question here. So we want to find the value for x correct to two decimal places. First step, label and identify. Let's have a go at doing that. So labeling my sides. First side, hypotenuse, opposite my right angle. So here, my x is going to be my hypotenuse. Second side, the opposite side. I look at where the angle is. So here, this triangle, I've got 35 degrees in the bottom right. So the side that's opposite it, is this five over here? That's my opposite side. Now I've already got the two sides I have that I need here, but just for the sake of completing it, this final side at the bottom is my adjacent side. Okay, now that I've done that, remember your acronym. If you don't remember your acronym or figured out another way to remember it, that's totally cool. So ka toa. Sine cos tan, opposite hypotenuse, adjacent hypotenuse, opposite adjacent. Okay, look at what I have. I've got an opposite side and a hypotenuse. Which one of my trig ratios has O and H? It's the first one. It is S for sine. So I'm going to write the trig equation. That, so I've done the first step, labeled and identified. I've, identif I've labeled my sides. I've identified I'm going to be using sine for this question. Second step, write your equation. So here I'm going to write, I'm dealing with sine. I put into my sine my angle. My angle here is that 35 degrees? Sine 35 degrees is equal to OH opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse. Let's put that in. 5 over X. So 5 from my opposite side over here. X from my hypotenuse over there. Okay. I've written my equation. That's step 2 down. Step 2 is done. Third step is rearrange and before we solve it and put it in our calculator. Now here, we've got the same type of question. X is in the denominator. It's at the bottom of your fraction. So what do I need to do? I need to either multiply and then divide or I do the swapsies. I'm just so that we get a bit of practice and it's a little bit quicker, I'm going to swap the two. So here, I'm going to have X is equal to five. Oh, let me try to write that a little bit neater. Five over sine 35 degrees. Okay, that's my value. I'm going to put it in my calculator to get me the value for this. So let's open up my calculator. I'm going to get my fraction out. 5 over sine 35, close my bracket, is equal to 8.717. I need it to two decimal places. So I'm going to look here. 8.717. I cut off at the after the one, I look at the next number, seven, that's above five, so I round up, so I add one to the previous number, so it's going to be 8.72. There we go, that is the side length x for this question here. So as you can see, we're doing the exact same steps that we did in the previous lesson. So if you're really good with the stuff that we did previous lesson, great, you should get, you should get this down pat. The only difference is we're solving for a value in the denominator. Our missing value x or our missing side, whichever one, whatever letter it's called, is in the denominator. So we need to do this swapping trick. We need to move our x to the other side and swap it with the trig identity, trig uh, ratio and the angle from the other side. So that's all we need to do. Okay, one final.